Hello everyone, my name is Anna. This is English Like a Native, the channel that is dedicated to helping you improve your English language. And we are live right now doing our 10 minutes pronunciation practice. So if you're joining me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future lessons. We are putting out lessons every single day at the moment. I can't get enough of you. <laughs> I'm really loving teaching you all so much that I'm putting out daily lessons, some of them live and some of them pre-recorded. Hello if you're just joining me. Today we're looking at a consonant sound. All week we've been looking at um, vowel sounds, but today we're looking at the consonant dark L sound, the all sound. So an L that appears in the middle and towards the ends of words. So if you are particularly keen to improve your accent, then stay tuned. We're going to be here for definitely 10 minutes, and I'm hoping to extend this lesson because it's Friday to give you an additional 10 minutes. So if you just want the pronunciation practice, stay tuned for 10 minutes. We're going to get onto it in just a moment. Um, otherwise, stay for the whole time. So um, we're improving our pronunciation today. That is what we're doing. And yes, we're covering the dark L sound. I will explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. Before I start, I just want to let you know that because it's Friday, I've got two giveaway announcements to make. The first giveaway announcement is... Anybody who decides to be generous enough to sponsor this video today, so anyone who gets involved in Super Chat, if you send a Super Chat to help this channel and to sponsor this video, then I will be giving all donations a free copy of my English telephone English ebook. So it's an ebook, it's about 12 pages long, and it basically goes through all the things that you'd need to know if you're working a lot on the phone, talking in English on the phone, or if you're phoning companies or businesses, then the kinds of things you'll need to learn are all in this ebook. And I'm going to give a free copy to anyone who decides to send a super chat along to this video today. So just something to keep in mind if you're feeling generous and want to help this channel grow. The other giveaway is the 15-minute Skype call that I'm offering every month to my patrons. And I've done it today with a random number generator. And the winner of this month's 15-minute Skype call with me is... Eric! <laughs> I hope you're here, Eric. You normally do join in these live lessons. But Eric, you were chosen at random. Your number was picked out um, with the number generator and you will be getting a free 15-minute Skype call with me whenever you are free. So um, drop me a message and let's organize our Skype call, Eric. Congratulations. There'll be another giveaway for another Skype call next month and um, that will be for any patrons. So any patrons will be automatically entered into that giveaway. So congratulations, Eric, and fingers crossed for my other patrons next month. Okay, so let me just say a quick hello to who is here. Uh, lots of people saying congratulations to Eric. Yes, in fact, Eric, you are so interactive and so supportive um, that I was really glad that your name came out. So hello, hello, hello. Right, so a lot of you are asking me, what is a dark L? What a really good question to start with. So... We generally, in British English pronunciation, will talk about the pronunciation of two types of L's, a light L and a dark L. And the difference in sound is this, a light L is L, L, and a dark L is L, L. Light, L, dark, L. Light, L, dark, L. 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 Ooh, la, ooh. It's a slight change in where the sound resonates, but I feel it as the difference in the space with the back of the tongue. You don't need to worry too much about the technicalities of how this is made, but just so you know, the tip of the tongue, if this is your tongue, and that's the back, and this is the tip, uh, 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 <laughs> this is the roof of your mouth, and these are your teeth, 
To make the L, the tip of your tongue comes up and touches behind the top teeth. Like this. A light L is with lots of space here. See? La. La. A dark L is with less space at the back, like this. La. La. The tip is still touching in exactly the same place. La. 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 It's just a difference in space at the back. But don't worry too much about the technicalities because that can be confusing. Let's just go with the sound and the feel of it. Hello in Brazil. Hello, Marcelo, joining us again. Thank you. Tomás, hi. Yes, I've washed the turmeric off my tongue. Uh, not orange anymore. <laughs> Those of you who were here yesterday will know I had a very, very orange tongue. And if you didn't see that, then the video is there to shame me forever on this channel. So you can always go and catch up and have a good laugh at me. But it's clean now. I give it a good scrub. All right, so the dark L, this is how it looks phonetically. Sometimes it will just appear as, a, as an L without this sign, but this sign is how I know to differentiate between a light L and a dark L. So the dark L appears in words such as full. <gasps> oh, someone's just sent me a super chat. And that means you are getting an ebook sent to you. So hi, Anna, would love the book to improve my telephone skills with clients. Brilliant. Um, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to tell you how, um, how we're going to sort that out. So stay tuned to the end and I'll talk to anyone who sends Super Chats about how to get your ebook. Thank you very much. That's absolutely awesome. So we have full, full, full. We have pool, pool, pool. I know a lot of my students actually struggle to make this L at all. So many of my students will say pull, pull, and do a W or full, full, and they won't put the tongue to the roof of the mouth. But it's very important that you put that tongue tip up. L, full, pull, okay? And the same with will will, will. So get that tongue tip up onto the roof of the mouth, full, pool, will. Okay, let's try it in a sentence. So we have Paul, the name Paul, mulled over the will. Paul, Paul, mulled, mulled over the will. Mindful of the TH, the will. In this case, we're talking about the noun, a will. So a will is a document that says what you want to happen to your possessions and your money when you die, who, it go who, who is going to get all your money, who will get your house and all your possessions. So a will is a document, a will. To mull over something, if you mull something over, you think about it for a while. So Paul mulled over the will. So Paul was thinking about the will. Okay, mulled over, mulled over. All right, let's just have a quick look at your comments here. Um, hello in Korea, hello in um, Argentina, hola. Buenos dias. Um, hello in Brazil, uh, hi, uh, oh, some of you are asking, how do you send a super chat? If you want to get involved in the super chat, it's very easy, just down next to the emoji icon where you send emojis, you'll see a little dollar sign, put a comment in, then press the dollar sign, and then you can decide how much you'd like to donate to the channel, okay, and it takes you through from there. Um, oh, for some of you, it's not available, I am sorry about that. Hopefully one day it'll, it'll be available everywhere. Could you please tell me how much does it take to get to an advanced level from intermediate? How much does it take? I mean, how long is a piece of string? It really depends on how much you've learned up to now. It depends on how much time and effort you're putting into practicing. It depends what methods you're using to learn. 
I've known people become you know, really advanced in a very short space of time, but they've also been living in a country where they are surrounded by English. So it's, it's almost impossible to answer that question. Um, the Dark L kills me. <laughs> yes, it, Dark L is difficult for a lot of people, which is why I thought I would cover it today. How do the Brits pronounce Russian names like Ivan and Vladimir? There you go. Ivan, Ivan and Vladimir. Okie dokie. I'm going to carry on. So here we go. We're going to move on to the next sentence. We have shall, shall we fill the pool up? So to fill up, to fill up, these two words generally go together. If you're filling something, you're like filling a glass of water, filling a bottle up. We usually say up, fill up, fill it up. I filled up my bottle with water. I'm full up. I can't eat anymore, I'm full up. So I'm telling you to fill, no, shall we fill the pool up? Shall we fill the pool up? And what did I miss? It's a question. So I missed the question mark. Really important to add these um, points of punctuation because it really helps um, with the person that you're trying to communicate with. It helps them to understand. And lots of times my students will write to me, my gold members will write in the WhatsApp group and they won't put full stops, commas or question marks. And it makes it very difficult to understand their meaning sometimes. So make sure we always add question marks if you're adding, and asking a question. Is there a difference in pronunciation between to mull and to mull over? No, no difference. Mull, it's just mull. Okay, shall we fill the pool up? Next one. Fill the bottle until it's full. Fill the bottle until it's full. So for all these L's, let's get that tongue up on the roof of the mouth. Fill the bottle until it's full. Okay, then we have well, well, wheel. Now these look exactly the same, but obviously we've got our little apostrophe there. Well, we will is the meaning. So we say wheel, wheel, well, wheel, all leave later. I've marked these, but I've marked them with a downward stroke because these are light L's. An L that appears at the beginning of a word is a light L almost every time. I can't think of any exceptions. Always be a light L. L, L, L. Leave later, not leave later, which is dark. If, you're, if Russian is your native language, then you need to be mindful because you always do dark Ls. So you need to do more light Ls. So make sure these are light. Well, we'll all leave later. Okay, so then we have the name, Millie. This is a girl's name, Millie. And this is a light L, Mill, Mill, Millie, Millie, Millie. Millie's a fool. Millie's a fool. Millie's a fool for spilling. If it was spill on its own, this would be dark. Spill, spill, spill. But because we're saying spilling, it becomes kind of light because we've got the ing at the end, which is quite bright. Spilling, spilling, spilling. And this is dark. Milk, milk. Millie's a fool for spilling milk. Millie's a fool for spilling milk. Okay, so it's a very quick touch on the dark L. I know it's a difficult one. Um, let's just go over those again. So we have full, pool, will. Paul mulled over the will. Shall we fill the pool up? Fill the bottle until it's full. Well, we'll all leave later. Millie's a fool for spilling milk. 
And then at the end, I've put I'll, I'll, I'll fully, fully appreciate a like, a share, and a subscribe. So guys, if you're here with me now and you enjoy these short pronunciation lessons, you're enjoying your day, then please show your appreciation by giving me a thumb. You know how much I like a thumb. It's interesting actually because these lessons get around a thousand views, but I only tend to see about a hundred thumbs. So let's, let's Friday be a happy Friday and let's break 200 thumbs. So give me 200 thumbs if you can. That'd be awesome. And if you know anyone who would appreciate or needs help with their pronunciation, then do feel free to share these lessons wherever you can. And if you're not already a subscriber, then do make sure you press that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any future lessons because that would make me sad if I was here talking to myself. Um, okay, so let me go through some of your questions. Right, so I'll just tell you now, um, only one of you has um, sent a super chat. So that means I'll only be sending out one ebook. But if you would like an ebook, um, it's all about telephone English, then um, I'm giving away ebooks to anyone who sends a super chat. So you've got about five more, maybe 10 more minutes before I head off and super chats will no longer be available. But if you fancy sponsoring this video and donating towards the growth of this channel and helping me to help lots of people with English, then hit that super chat button and I will send you an ebook today. Um, so it's X, Xana was very kind to send a super chat over. Thank you very much. All you need to do is send me an email Exana, and I will email you back the ebook. So um, my email address is EnglishLikeANative at gmail.com. Um, so that's just for Exana. Please don't everyone be sending me emails. I won't respond. Um, but Exana, I will send you the ebook. So um, thank you very much. It's much appreciated, as I'm sure everyone appreciates all the people who do help this channel, including my amazing patrons. I literally couldn't do this channel without the help of my patrons. They donate to me every month. It's not a lot, but it's enough to keep food on my plate and it's enough to stop me from going back into a normal job. So thank you to my patrons. It means the world to me that you support everything that I do. Obviously, I'm doing as much as I can in return. And today I'm doing a lesson, especially for my patrons only, a live lesson on the um, on grammar. You know how I feel about grammar. But we're doing the past perfect tense and the simple past tense. So we're going to be doing a lot of work on those tenses today. Patrons only. So if you want to be a patron, please come and join us. I really need your help. Um, the link for the Patreon campaign is in the description of this video. You get lots of goodies for being patrons. You get lots of love from me and lots of attention. So feel free to come and check out those rewards over there. Now let's have a look at what you guys have to say. Hi, Eric. Eric, you won. You won, Eric. Me and you are going to have a Skype call. I'm glad you're here. So um, Eric, email me and let's sort out a time for Skyping because you are a fabulous patron. Thank you very much. You're well-deserved. All right, so let's have a look what you guys are saying. If you have anything you want me to pronounce, now is the time, let me know. I'm here for the next eight minutes. Can you pronounce will and wheel again? So we will go. We will go is we'll go. It sounds like a wheel of a car. Wheel, 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 wheel. And will, will, eel, Ill. Hear that difference in the vowel? Wheel, me and you, wheel, will, wheel, will. Um, good afternoon, Anna. Hello, Long. How are you? Uh, da, da, da. I've seen some of your other videos. I like the British accent, which you have. Now I have a question. Just in British English, we have to pronounce the sound L in that way. Uh, yes, in British English and American English, actually, um, film. Uh, so if I'm, if I'm speaking with an American accent, I would sound a little bit like this. Um, I, I fill the pool up. Uh, so yes, I would say wheel and will. And 
uh, I'm just trying to think of things I can say in an American accent. Um, Paul, Paul mulled over, over the will. So yes, if I'm speaking with an American accent, I still have light L's and dark L's. Um, so yes is the answer. And if you're American and you're going, oh, I'm offended, please don't be offended. <laughs> I know my accents aren't perfect. Uh, uh, what else have we got? Is there a difference? No, 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 I've seen that one already. Um, does cuppa, cup of tea equal cup of tea? Yes. So cuppa, C-U-P-P-A, means a cup of tea or a cup of something. It's usually tea. But um, you, you just say cuppa. Do you want to do fancy cuppa? You want a cuppa? Um, and that means tea. Cup of tea. What else do we have? What is the difference between the pronunciation of full, my cup is not full, and fool? The difference is the vowel. So you have fu full, full is a short u, uh, full, and fool, long vowel u, full, fool, full, fool. And look at the placement on my lips. Full, fool. All right. Fully, thank you from Algeria. Well, thank you and welcome. Uh, the lateral L. I, that's, that's the comment, lateral L. I, I, are you talking about lateral plosives? I can, I can talk about that in a different lesson, but that's quite advanced. Anna, why don't you have a podcast? Uh, because I don't have enough time. I did start a podcast. I have I have two episodes in my podcast, but I literally don't have enough time. I have three YouTube channels and I, I, can't, I can't manage to do everything because I do everything. I do everything myself. And, uh, and yes, I don't sleep enough. <laughs> um, what is the right way to say can't? Can't. I'm scared to pronounce it the wrong way. You know why. Yes, I do know why. We don't say can't. We say car, nice open vowel, the tongue is flat, big space, ah, ah, two fingers, ah, ah, can't, I can't stand it, I can't stand it any longer, I can, but I can't, can, can't. How do you pronounce vanilla, vanilla, vanilla ice cream, yum, yum. Um, Anna, how do I get the ebook? Fito, Fito, Fito. All you have to do to get the free giveaway ebook is to uh, sponsor this video. So you send a super chat over as a way of um, as a way of sponsoring and supporting this community to grow. Uh, this is my full time job, as people know, and I don't make much money doing it, so it's very very difficult. And for me to have more time to give to you guys then I need more support. So if you are able to and willing to sponsor, then I am looking for ways to thank you. And one way is to give you an ebook. So if you want to sponsor this with a super chat, then you need to do it quickly because I'm about to go in a few minutes, um, but I will send you an ebook in return. Otherwise you can purchase the ebook on my website. Ta Anna, what's the difference between use and use? Um, well, one is, as you've said, quite rightly, um, one is a noun and one is a verb. Um, the noun use, use with an S, and the verb use, use. I can't use it. It is useless. I can't use it. It is useless. So noun is S, verb is Z. Oh, someone else has got an ebook. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Diego. Thank you so much for your super chat. Um, just like I mentioned before to um, Exana, for you to get your ebook, just drop me an email. Uh, my email is in the about section of this video, but also my email address is englishlikeanative at gmail.com and I will send your ebook straight over. Thank you so much. Um, let's go back to the comments. Um, da, 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 da. say quickly as a tongue twister look at Luke he is looking at Lily look at Luke he is looking at Lily look at Luke he is looking at Lily I'm, I like tongue twisters 
Um, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys too. You guys are always really helpful. If you haven't already, do give this video a thumb up. I don't know how many likes we're up to. I can't see how many likes we're up to, but I'm, I'm wanting to get to 200 so that that will make my Friday and make my weekend very happy. Anna, would you tell us five good British singers that you like? Oh, well, um, off the top of my head, Adele, Sam Smith, um, uh, Ed Sheeran. Um, oh, gosh, British singers. I mean, I'm, I think of a lot of singers, but they're not always British. Uh, those, are the, those are the three I can think of off the top of my head, but there are obviously lots of amazing singers um okay hello i'm a new subscriber hello alfredo welcome thank you for subscribing how do you pronounce the word sibling 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 l l that's a light l in fact sibling sibling i think when an l is followed by an ing then it's generally light sibling fernando has asked for the pronunciation of the word calm the L is silent, no touching the roof of the mouth. Calm, calm. Um, oh, Mohammed's upset. Uh, you just completely ignored my question. I didn't mean to. Where is your question? I can't see it. Guys, you mustn't get upset if I don't see your question. I've, I've got so many to look through and they keep scrolling up and up and up. So please forgive me, don't take it personally. Okay, so Mohammed, you've asked, how do you pronounce knackered? Knackered. N. K is silent. N. Knackered. Knackered. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Um, I think live lessons are more effective and sincere. Not sincerely. More effective and sincere. Thank you. Um, what is what is a pa pa pal paltrons? Do you mean patrons? I was talking about my patron. A patron is someone who supports on a monthly basis. They give a dollar a month or a few dollars a month or more. And depending on what they give, they get more opportunities. So all my patrons get access to a, a live lesson every week, a private live lesson. All my patrons get access to all my videos early before anybody else. Um, I will always respond to all of their questions. And then some get Skype calls and different bits and bobs. So a patron, no L, patron. And the link to the Patreon campaign is in the description of this video. Um, Anna, can we get the ebook if we don't have a credit card? Uh, the ebook is available on my website and you can use PayPal, but I don't know about if you don't have a credit card. I think you can do a bank transfer is one option. I don't know. You'll have to look on the website, double check. Uh... Some people use the phrase, she have a book instead of she has a book. What's the difference? Um, she have a book is wrong. That's incorrect. She has a book is correct. They have books. She has a book. Okay. Hello from Kazakhstan. Hi. Uh, what else do we have? Um, what are you up to equals what do you want? No. Um, well... If someone is being suspicious, maybe someone's being nice to you and they're not normally nice to you, you might say, what are you up to? And that would mean, what do you want? But you can also say to someone, hey, what are you up to? That could also mean, what are you doing? It depends on the context. What are you up to this evening? What are you doing this evening? Um, Anna, you're amazing. Thank you. And a thousand thumbs. Thank you very much. Um, Eric says there's now 95 likes, 95 thumbs up. Has it passed 100 yet? Has, have I had 100 thumbs? <laughs> it sounds so funny. Um, 5,000 thumbs for my teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have to say goodbye. Goodbye, Thomas. How do you pronounce iron? Iron. I iron my shirt. Notice the R is silent. We just say iron, iron. It's like there's a y in the middle, iron, iron. Um, what about calm? You've asked me, I've asked that one. I've answered that question, calm. Um, is it insulting to call someone a fool? Yes, pretty much. If you're saying someone is a fool, then that's, I wouldn't like someone to call me a fool. 
So yes, let's say it's, it's insulting. Um, patrons like sponsors? Yes, they are. Hello from the Ukraine. Hi, Stepan. Um, oh, you've retracted your message. <laughs> well, I still say hi to you. Um, it is a pleasure to see you at work every day. So I'm, so am I unfortunately at work every day? Oh, okay. I see. Um, we appreciate it. If you would teach us the various ID sounds at the ends of words, I do actually have a video lesson all about that, the ED endings. So if you go into my channel, click videos and scroll back, it was a few months ago now, but a few months ago I released a video with all the rules set out very clearly how to pronounce the ED endings. But yes, it's a good idea. I might cover it in a live lesson, but there is already a video out there on it. So go and check those out. Can I say maths, maths, the subject of maths, T-H into S, maths, and sixths. No S on that one. It's just sixth. Sixth. I don't think you would ever call for an S on that word. Sixths. No, you'd never say that. You'd just say sixth. Sixth. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. What's the meaning of just the back of me head? Um, it means just the back of my head. It may be, and that's not a complete sentence, but... Um, if you say it hit me just on the back of my head, me head, just on the back of, just on the back of an head, just on the back of a head. I don't know what the meaning is because that sentence isn't complete, but ed is short for head. Um, hi in Poland. What is your typical timetable daily? I'm afraid it changes every day because my, um, my life is a bit chaotic um, so the best thing to do is follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I tend to announce when I do the long lessons via those platforms. And if you subscribe here and press the bell notification button, you'll be notified when I'm live so that you don't miss out. But I'm basically releasing something every day. So if you come onto the channel every day, you'll see something new. Um, I think you're not British. <laughs> um, Oh, you're saying Kiran. Kiran, I think you're not British. I, uh, where is Kiran? Jen? Oh, guys, you, you were having a conversation. I'm sorry, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> um, I would like to ask, how do you pronounce theatrically? Theatrically. Could you pronounce some of the words with silent letters? Yes. Talk. Talk. No L. Walk. Walk. No L. Palm. Palm. Palm of my hand. No L. Um, I do have a video that covers some of the 10 common words with silent letters. Go and have a look for that. That's in the video backlog. Um, can you pronounce palm tree? Palm tree. Palm tree. Uh, Jenna, can you read my comments? Where are your comments, my love? Uh, oh, I can't see it, sweetheart. Jenna, okay. Um, I simply, I want to marry someone from Britain. If you could help me and maybe bring, m bringing me your brother, I would be happy learning English with my British husband. <laughs> I can't help you there, darling. I don't have a husband myself. So, you know, we're both, we're both searching. So I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> um, are you keen on literature? Yes, I am. I love literature. In fact, I have been doing some um, ASMR videos, reading some of my favourite stories. I did one that's already released, which is um, The Hobbit. ASMR is whispering so that you can relax. And so I've done that one already and I'm about to release another one as soon as I've edited it. So stay tuned. Uh, okay, I'm going to just do a few more comments and then I'm going to have to go and prepare for my lesson with my patrons. Um, hello in Venezuela. Oh, yay, we're on 110 likes. Woohoo! Thank you, guys. Keep rocking, teacher. Your classes are too interesting. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Mustafa, you're always so supportive. Um, let's explain when to pronounce alphabets like that. Um, I could do a lesson on the alphabet. Um, your ASMR video was so relaxing. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I wondered if it was a bit weird, but, um, but some people like it. So 
Ali says, I feel super creepy while listening to ASMR. Yeah, I feel a little bit like that too. I, I, but everyone kept asking me for ASMR videos. So, you know, I have to try and please everybody. So if you don't like them, you don't have to listen to them. But if you do like them, you find it relaxing. It is a good way to learn. To learn while you're very relaxed is a great way to take information into your brain. And so if you're listening to English while relaxing, then it's, it's a good thing. But if, you, if, it do, if it's not for you, that's okay. You don't have to listen to them. Um, how can I pronounce my name in British English? Mahmood Murad. Mahmood Murad. Hi, Anna. I know it's out of subject, but I want to ask you, when do we use have plus verb and did plus verb? Although, yeah, let's keep the grammars to the grammar lessons. All right, it's hard to, it's hard to explain off the cuff. Um, difference between shall and should. Shall and should. Shall and should. I shall be doing it. I should have done it. Um, say three, T-H, three and through. Three and through. Can you say something in a Cockney accent? All right, governor, how are you doing? Ah, uh, I don't know what to say, to be honest. But this isn't a very good Cockney accent. Up the apple and pears. Give a call on the dog and bone. Anyway, that's enough. Uh, hello, um, Kitty, you've just joined. Uh, this is turning into a general Q&A. Um, let's do a cross-promotion on Instagram. Oh, English freaks. Sure. Well, drop me a message, guys. Um, let me... Let me know about your Instagram page. Yes, um, if you are not following me on Instagram, guys, I do daily pronunciation videos on Instagram. So if you're keen to sound more British or to generally improve your English pronunciation, then head over to Instagram and join me there and make the most of those resources. Plus, it's not just me. There are many other amazing English teachers on Instagram doing fabulous work. I see them every day. I think what they're doing is great and it's a great free resource for you to make the most of. So do head over to Instagram and join us there. My um, Instagram link is in the description of this video along with loads of other helpful links, italki credits, um, uh, audio, audio book, uh, free trials, all sorts of stuff. So, and a link to have your own British mug. <laughs> so do check out those links that I put in there for you. Um, all right. I'm, what does keen mean? To be keen is to be eager, is to be enthusiastic. I'm keen to meet you. I'm enthusiastic and excited about meeting you. Um, great. Okay, Anna, you have made a team of people who love English language. I like everyone. Yes, we are a community, we're a team, we're a team of English learners, all learning English together. So, keep calm and carry on. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I have babbled on enough. Uh, it's time for me to leave you to your day. If you are a patron, I will see you at four o'clock for our fabulous grammar lesson. Be prepared to write because we're going to be doing lots of writing and corrections on your simple past and your perfect past tenses. So I'll see you at four o'clock via the Patreon page is where I'll post the link. Those of you who sent me super chats, then do send me an email and I will send you your eBooks and thank you again for your super chat donations. It really makes a difference to this channel. And guys, if you haven't already pressed the thumb or the subscribe button, then do that now and I will see you over the weekend. Lots of love. Bye from London.